But there comes a time in everyone's life when they choose stasis or they choose to grow, to be open to new views and experiences and challenge what they think they know. We don't live in a black and white world and sexuality exists in the gray. You can't define those roles so rigidly by saying someone's totally straight or totally gay. Cause people are just people and love today is omnisexual. God, I love this new side of me as a modern heteroflexible. So with the help of a lot of booze, I find a girl and we make out. And it feels the same as kissing a guy, so I don't see what all the fuss is about. We keep hooking up and it feels so good And with my new broad outlook firmly in place I've come so far, it feels so right There's a vagina in my face And I'm like <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't expect that. I didn't know I'd react that way. I was repelled like, like negatively towards ions and magnetic, magnetic field when I got pricked by a thorn. I'm Cinderella and it's midnight and my coach turned into a woman. I haven't been that close to a vagina since I was born. I thought I understood what was up down there, but it's just so human when you see it up close. It's a messy, visible, secreting organ. Real women genitals are kind of gross. I thought it'd be smooth and non-threatening or non-existent like Barbies. Instead, it looks like a happy and beeping chatter in the garbage can at Arby's. It's wrinkly and flappy and uneven and messy and kind of pink, but also kind of brown with a super aggressive tongue-like hole and a hoodie triangle protruding skin mound. It's like a weather-beaten deflated football or decomposing bloody pear or toothless mouth with gum rotten yeast that's salivating and covered in hair. I knew it smelled weird, but this is extreme, like old French dressing in a salad bar or expired banana activia or a dead rotting turtle you left in your car or reminds me of the smell of my grandma's house or a guinea pig with bacterial disease walking from a jar of formaldehyde or fresh tomatoes and warm blue cheese. I'm sorry, I can't believe I said that. That was insensitive and immature. I swear I'm not homophobic or anti-woman, just caught off guard for sure. The female anatomy is divine and perfect and should be eternally celebrated and revered for its role as a beautiful vessel wherein all life is created. And when I think about it, I'll oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry for the confusion, ma'am. I guess I'm not that evolved. And my illusions of bisexuality just instantly dissolved. I'm more in the cool new life I'd envisioned where my love renders gender preference obsolete Cause when I looked the vagina in the eye, I made a hasty, ungraceful retreat So my sad but definite conclusion is that my mouth is for food and penis is only But I'm happy so many people lick it down there, otherwise I'd be really lonely And I can't believe I have one of those, ew